this shit took nine hours. Man, this took motherfucking 12 hours. You know you're cycling. You're definitely a nut. You know that about it. It's okay. Andy, why, right? Andy, why, right? All right, got it right. Thank you, Andy. Thank you very much. Andy, you come to the fight. You got tickets? No. All right, we need to get this guy tickets. All right, give him some information. Get this guy tickets. Oh, that's who I am. Yeah, he did a good job. Fred. Fred, you gonna come right with me? Come on, you come on. Where's your television, brother? Talk yeah, to him, baby. Yes. The main, the main man. The main man. The main man. The main man. I'm he's, nobody. The main he's, man. He's better than Holyfield. The I'm main man. I'm I met Holyfield, he's the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gotta take care. You gotta be good in school. Don't be yeah. that Mike. Well, I know he does get harsh treatment from the media. He really does, and that pretty much have him where he don't give a. You know, he just get get the attitude where he don't really care about it anymore because he feel like none, nobody else has nothing that they can else do to him. I think he's got a really bad image, but he doesn't help himself. He comes across as a bit of an animal, and I think he kind of revels in that public image in some respects. I like him. He just speaks his mind, everybody, like everybody else should. You know, instead of holding it back, he give you what he had have to give you. I'm sure there's another side, but nobody ever sees it. <laughs> they all see the one that the press puts out. So, but you know, it's it's well deserved. You have to look at it from a different point of view. Uh, a lot of people has done time in jail. Jail is supposed to be a place where you can be rehabilitated, and you're supposed to have a second chance. I mean, if you don't give him a second chance, then there's, there's no hope for the rest of the people who are incarcerated. I think he has to just forget about the past and think about the future now, because he had a lot of problem with the press and all sorts of stuff like that. So. He has to move on. He can't let the past hold him back. of it, Tyson is always news. When he visits, the crowds arrive. He is the attraction everywhere he goes. The response on the streets is fanatical, especially in black neighborhoods. Here in Brixton, in London, he attracted bigger crowds than Muhammad Ali and Nelson Mandela, two of Tyson's heroes. He walks with his fans, he talks their talk, they love him.
ready for me? Keep waving. <laughs> you should get a rubber off. Okay. Ready? Alright, smile. Where are we going then? Yeah. Yeah. I know you should. Yeah. 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 Tyson is something which you would call um, like like Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, from the black standpoint, is a guy who brought blacks into the White House. Who, uh, if you look at uh, the history of the White House, uh, there's never been the participation of blacks coming through the White House. So blacks view him as a savior, like as in the days of John Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy. And so same thing with Tyson. They look at Tyson as a guy who came from where they coming from. And they understand Tyson a lot more than corporate America or cor the corporate world understands Tyson. They love him. They, they, they know he's a rebel. They know that uh, he's not an Uncle Tom. Uh, the black people are with him. The kids are with him. He walks through the ghetto. He's praised. And, you know, he, he's a... He's a... a, a a vigilante. Tyson can go anywhere and people look at him as an attraction. You know, Lennox can go anywhere and people look at me with respect. Mike was thrown on the streets when he was seven years old. Look how far he's come. Tyson still uh, has a certain esteem within the black community and within the African American community here because he always, no matter what, displays a certain sense of strength. Uh, black folks have felt discriminated against, they felt disenfranchised, and when a, when, a, when a black man stands up and shows strength and defiance of a system that has discriminated against a, a, a whole race of people, then there's a certain amount of respect that is fostered there. It's in the most deprived areas, like Moss Side in the north of England, that Tyson has the most influence. There are hundreds of drug-related shootings here each year. It is the type of place Tyson escaped from. It is the type of place he gets respect. We cannot continue to demonize the very same icons that the young people relate to. There are young black males who believe that if Tyson is evil, they are evil. They will start to believe that spin. And that spin can have an adverse effect on the very social welfare reform policies that are now being prioritized into communities that were otherwise not reachable. People think, oh, he's a rapist or whatever, and the people that think, oh, he's a, he's a role model and all this. But basically, people around there, uh, they've got respect for him, you know what I mean? He <laughs> goes without saying he's an hero. Everybody's got their own view on it. People say he was set up and what have you, you know. So the man's done his time, so leave him alone. You know, he's trying to get his life back together. I'm not too sure if he's such a role model, um, but he's, he's okay. I mean, he, he, he struggled and he's um, earning a living, honest living, so you've got to give him credit in a way. At the end of the day, he's taking his art form, which is boxing, and taking it to another level. And because he's taking it to another level, that's why he gets respect, because he proved himself to be the best in this, in this game. He's not a role model. And this is the other point, Zoe's a bad role model. He's a hero.